Welcome to this Timberwolves Fast Break. I'm Marnie Gellner with Kevin Lynch. The Knicks beat the Timberwolves at Madison Square Garden this afternoon, 112-106. It was a really sluggish second quarter that the Wolves never could really overcome. However, they got close thanks to the spark they got from Jordan McLaughlin. End of the third, he goes into the game, and it seemed like, like you said, the game was kind of sluggish. Really, the second quarter into the third quarter, McLaughlin comes in, gets the quick steal, gets the, the transition layup, tough shot right there off the backboard, sticks a quick three right after that, just makes it happen in so many different ways. And he's such a spark plug. When he's healthy and, and feeling confident, uh, he's a guy that you got to get out there a little bit, especially with Mike Conley being at that age. Uh, getting that little juice, as Chris Finch likes to say, from that bench is going to be important. He played well tonight. Yeah, and 11 minutes total. Four for five from the floor, nine points, three assists, a couple of steals. Ultimately, though, it is a Knicks win, 112-106. Minnesota out-rebounded 49-34 this afternoon. But Chris Finch praised the efforts of Jordan McLaughlin. He's now played in you know three of the last uh, handful of games, and every single time he's come in and have you know um, uh, a super positive impact. So, as we said, it, it, you know at halftime it certainly felt like a JMAC game because we needed that juice. Um, but and you know we thought we thought that position, or we still believe that position could be situational. Um, but if somebody comes and takes it, then somebody comes and takes it, and it looks like JMAC's on his way to doing that right now. The Timberwolves will be back at Target Center on Wednesday. They will host the New Orleans Pelicans, who will be playing on the second night of a back-to-back. -back, a 6.30 pregame show Wednesday from Target Center. Thanks for watching this Timberwolves Fast Break.